Hi everyone. Hi, welcome to Vegas. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. So I'm here since um, 10 days. Uh, so I've had the time to, to look at the city, get some training, get used to the jet lag. So yeah, I'm feeling really good. Uh, really, I'm ready for, for Saturday night. What do you think of Vegas so far? Um, I did not have the time to really enjoy Vegas uh, because I'm preparing a fight. But uh, so far it's good. Well, people are good. Um, there's some beautiful landscape outside of the of the city, and there's some nice casinos, some nice cars, some nice things to see. Uh, so I, I can't wait to to discover a more a more lot of Vegas after the fight. Have you thought about how you're going to be able to top your last fight? Because I can't imagine any fight feeling as good as that did. You know, UFC debut in your home in front of a crowd. So how do you top that? Um, yeah, that's hard. That's really hard to top that. Um, you know, I just try to to really stay focused, and I'm not trying to top my last performance. It's like, okay, this fight has been done. Uh, it was a really great performance. No, I'm just sticking to my plan, to my training, and like, if the next fight, or so this fight, uh, can get better, I don't think so because it's really hard. Um, it would be great, but otherwise, it's like, as long as I win the fight, win the fight, it's good for me. I'm just trying to to win it uh, in the great way with a great finish. With uh, w but with my style, my fighting style, I think great finish always comes. So it should be another great performance. But top the Paris performance really hard. The next time it will have to be when you win the title, right? That's going to be the only thing that will top that performance, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe won a title. Yeah, maybe won a title can top that performance or just have a main event in Paris. You know. I mean, event in Paris, I think, could top this. But yeah, debut in Paris, first knockout, performance of the night, yeah, hard to top that, it really are. Do you feel like the pressure is kind of a little bit less now that you've gotten over your debut? You've already showed the crowd, like, this is who I am. Now I can just fight. I don't have to worry about showing off. Um, yeah, and no, because I think um, it's like everyone always expect more, so I don't really feel the pressure, but I feel like people are waiting to, for me to do something as big as the last performance or the last three performances, the, to have a great finish, uh, to really mm, do a masterclass, like uh, do not get hit and just see everything and be perfect in the fight. So yeah, that's more that type of pressure to be a, the perfect fighter in the cage, do not get hit, otherwise ah, he's not that good because it was not perfect. It's more that type of pressure, but I'm like, yeah, this is a fight. That's a fight game, so last time was good, but this one uh, I will probably uh, get hit uh, because Chepe will bring it. So so I'm just focused on winning the fight. So that's, all I, that's all I care. Have you thought ab at all about the fact that you are going to be coming from this big fight with all the crowd and then you're coming here without a crowd at all um, or a very small crowd? Have you thought about that? Is that going to change how you think you might fight? Yeah, yeah. I, I've think about that. We have talked about this uh, with my team. Um, but I have a lot of experience. I've fought a lot in Cage Warrior during COVID. I had uh, the world title during COVID. So I'm used to empty venue. It's like it's not the first time. I think I had maybe three fights in a empty venue or with really small people. And there's even some show in Cage Warrior that there's not so much people. So I'm used to it. Uh, I know how it feels to, to fight in, a, in an arena where there's nobody or there's not a lot of noise when you hear the Canva and all of the stuff. So yeah, I know what, uh, what will happen on, on Saturday in terms of atmosphere. But yeah, it will be real because my last fight it was in Paris and it was crazy cold. But I'm ready for it, yeah. What do you think of your opponent? Um, I think Chepe's game is like he's a dog. He is really, is really hard. He's, like, he's going to bring it. He's going to come try to hurt me, bring the fight to some chaos, uh, and, and try to knock me out, uh, throw me to the ground with his judo. He will try to be dirty. He will try to be really hard on me. I think, he, yeah, he will try to hood dog me and do do Chepe like Chepe style, yeah. Are you expecting to get another quick finish, or, or do you plan to go the three rounds? Do you want to prove that you can go the three rounds and put on a, a war? Um, it's like I, I want to prove nothing. I just want to win the fight, so I really don't know what will happen. 
I just know that I have my game plan and I will stick to it. And if everything comes like we plan, I should get a finish, but will it be quick? I don't know. JP is really tough, so maybe I will not get a finish and go to the decision. It's like I'm, I'm just going to fight, do my style. Let's see what, what happens. I know you don't want to look past your opponent, but have you kind of set some goals for yourself for this year? How many fights do you want to do if you want to go out on the road and fight somewhere else? Or even just personal goals? Um, it's like um, we have not really talked about it. Uh, we're, we really just want to take each fight at a time. Don't sit too, too long because I'm still young and I want to take my time right now. Um, but I, I want one more fight this year or two maybe, but one should be already good. Maybe on the UFC parry card, the, the next parry card uh, with a good opponent. So we'll see, we'll see what happened uh, this Saturday and then we'll talk because it's hard to talk when, when the fight has not, uh, has not been done. Thank you. You're welcome. Morgan, um, hey. is, is this the first time you have fought in America? Yeah, that's my first time here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are you ex are, are you excited because <clears throat> your first fight fighting fighting in America and you're fighting in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited, but you know, I love to fight in front of a crowd. So it's like I'm excited, but there's this thing that uh, I mean, the apex. There's not so much people. You know, so it's a weird feeling. It's like I'm happy to be there, to be fighting for the UFC, to, to have all this stuff, to have been to the UFC PI it was crazy. But it's like um, I love crowd. I love crowd. I love to put on a show. So that's why I will miss in, on this fight. Obviously, you want to fight in Paris later this year. But, you know, do you want to come back to America and fight in, in front of a big crowd? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I would love it. Find the T-Mobile Arena or, or the, the Sphere or, you know, all, the, all this big view. It's like I'm coming from a small town. I am always dream to, to fight in America and be in front of the big crowd. And I want to ask you, a uh, former opponent of yours, Paul Hughes, is not in the UFC yet. And I just want to know, why do you think he's, why do you think the UFC has not signed him? Um, I'm sorry. I have no answer for this. It's like I'm not his management and I don't know what their plan are, I don't know what they want to do, but his game is good. So future will will have great thing for him. It, yeah, I think he will probably win this, this weekend as he's fighting. Um, and I think all the door will be open for him. He's still young, so we'll see.